This is a quick tutorial on how to create a custom map using Google My Maps. First, go to mymaps.google.com. This brings you to the Google My Maps homepage. Click on Create a New Map in the upper left corner. You can click on the Untitled Map text in the upper left to rename your map, and you can add a description here as well. I'm going to create two layers. This first layer I'm going to rename, and this is going to be my functional layer. And this I'm going to imagine that functional for me means I'm going to put my hotels in there, maybe my restaurants and pharmacies. And then I'm going to add a second layer here. And I'm going to call this layer fun. And the purpose of this layer is going to be my recreational stuff, my activities and fun things that I'm going to be doing on the trip. So if you see this thin blue line to the left of the layer, that means that I have that layer selected. And so that means that if I look up any locations and click Add to Map, they're going to be added to that layer. So I'm actually going to click on the functional layer for now. I'm going to start with that one, and I'm going to get a hotel in there first. So I start typing, I find the option that I'm looking for, and then it brings me to that location on the map. And then once I've confirmed that that is indeed what I want to add to the map, I can click Add to Map. I like to change the pin drop icons and colors, so you can do that using the style button right here that looks like a paint can. You can change the color, you can change the icon, and if you go to the More Icons button, there's a ton of options here to choose from, so you're unlikely to not be able to find something that works for the location that you're adding to your map. I'm going to add a grocery store to my functional layer as well. And I'm going to search for a shopping cart. And there we go. Okay, so I've got a couple of items added to the functional layer. Now I'm going to select the fun layer and I'm going to add a couple of things to that layer as well. Let's add Pike Place Market. I'm going to add that to the map. I'm going to look for a fish icon. And then maybe one more item for this demo to the fun layer. And let's look for a Ferris wheel. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see these icons. As you zoom out, that's when you start to see that these icons are bigger than the other pin drop icons that you see on your Google Maps. If I were planning this trip and I were looking at this, I would say, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I selected a grocery store that was so far away. Maybe I can find something closer to my hotel. And undoubtedly, I would be able to find one. I'm not going to do that right now because this is just a demo. But this is part of the reason why it's really nice to do this for planning a trip or a vacation is because you can kind of figure these kinds of logistical things out really quickly and easily. Just know that you do have the option to change the base map as well. I would recommend leaving it on just the default because that is the most detailed version. It's what you're used to seeing if you use Google Maps. But you also have the option to use the satellite terrain and all of these other base map options. There are a bunch of other tools in Google My Maps that I'm not going to go into depth on, but you can add markers, you can draw lines and polygons, you can add directions, whether those are walking directions or driving directions or whatever, you can add those directly into the map as another layer, and you can measure distances and areas. If you click on the preview button, this will show you what your map looks like when someone who can only view the map is looking at it. So again, we've just got our layers here, and you can see all those options. And folks have the option to toggle on and off your layers, just as you do. Now, on the note of the layers and the toggling of them on and off, the way that you use layers is really entirely up to you, whatever would be most useful for you. So in this demonstration, I had a functional layer and a fun layer, so I could just look at one or the other depending on what I wanted to see in my map. But you could use layers in pretty much any way that you can imagine being useful to you. Lastly, the share button will allow you to share your map. Now, these share options here will allow you to share the map in a view only capacity. If you want to share your map in an editing capacity, 
So like if you have other people who are going on your trip who are collaborating with you to help plan the trip, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click share on drive. And this is going to give you the share option to add someone's email address and actually give them editing access instead of just viewing access. So that's it for my quick Google My Maps tutorial. If you are looking for a trip planning Google Sheets template, I actually have one called the Trip Planner available on my Etsy shop, Merge and Center. So check that out if you are looking for a tool that will help you plan your next trip or vacation. And thanks for watching.